Holy Herbs is a book on herbs. Herbs have a long history and find a mention in ancient texts. Do herbal products have relevance in modern medicines such as in the treatment of cancer, Alzheimer's disease, diabetes, high blood pressure, obesity and so on? These and some other questions that I discuss with reference to each herb, shrub, shrub and tree described in the book. In addition, Holy Herbs explores the historical, cultural, religious and scientific aspects of selected plants. 23 of the most important trees, herbs and shrubs mentioned in the Bible have been discussed in detail in this book. These plants were used as incense in temples, for fragrance, as food and in medicine. An overview of the scientific research conducted on each of these plants is included in the book. The ancient and traditional use of these plants in medicine has also been detailed. The Chicago-based research firm Mintel estimates that US retail sales of homeopathic and herbal remedies will reach $7.5 billion by 2017. The popularity of natural products based nutraceuticals and medicine is clearly rising. The book has been written with an open mind. I do not have a dogmatic opinion either in favor of herbs or modern medicine. I present the evidence to the reader as I saw it and leave the reader to form their own opinion. Let me illustrate this with an example or two. Myrrh is an ancient raisin yielding tree that has been used has been used as medicine, incense and fragrance since antiquity. Jews and Romans would mix the sap from the myrrh tree with old wine or water to make a tonic that they believed could restore strength and maintain health. In Yunani, the plant was used to treat diseases of the nervous system, especially epilepsy. In 2011, the European Medicines Agency authorized the use of myrrh tincture to treat minor ulcers and oral inflammation like gingivitis, stomat stomatitis, minor wounds and small boils. The US Food and Drug Administration has proposed approving myrrh gum tincture for topical drugs. The scientific evidence in support of these uses has been extensively referred to in the book. An extensive bibliography will help scientists, drug discovery people to research this and other plants further. Most of us are familiar with cinnamon. We use it to flavor food and drink. However, its use is recommended in moderation. Germany's Federal Institute for Risk Assessment issued a warning that a 132 pound adult who regularly eats more than 2 grams of cassia cinnamon daily could suffer harmful side effects. However, no such limitation of use has been placed by the US FDA. This plant has been shown to possess analgesic, anti-inflammatory, antimicrobial, anti-diabetic and other properties. These are just illustrative examples. There is much more to the book. I am a freelance columnist who was a member of the Indian Forest Service. You can know more about me by looking at my website sudhiralwalia.com. You can also reach me, make comments, send reviews through this website. Herbs is available in bookstores in India and is also available on Amazon.in. We expect to release this book on Amazon.com later in the year.